In this video, we'll use cosine law to determine a side. You've been given a triangle. The triangle has a side of 37, a side of 25, and in between it, an angle of 50 degrees. So, first important thing is you use cosine law in this situation because you have side angle beside where the angle is between. If the angle was not between, it would have been a case for sine law. But because we have side angle side with the angle between, it's a cosine law situation. Let's label the triangle. You can give the triangle any letters you want. I like to use ABC. And in particular, I like the C version of the cosine law. So I purposely put the letter C here because that means that the angle C has a cross from it the side I want to solve X, which is little c or side C. Similarly, this is angle B, so this is side baby B. This is angle A, so this is side baby A. Cosine law, you're usually given the formula on a test, but I'll write it out here. Cosine law is c squared equals a squared plus b squared. Look, it looks just like Pythagorean theorem. c squared equals a squared plus b squared. But the difference is cosine law takes into account this angle is not 90 degrees. You use cosine law when it's a not right angle triangle. So we've got c squared equals a squared plus b squared minus 2 times a and b. These are the same letters here. Times the cosine of the big letter of this. Let me say that again. The c squared equals the other two sides squared added together minus 2 times them times the cosine of the big letter of the start first line is equation, the formula we're going to use. The second line, sub in. C squared, oh, which I'm calling x. I better put an x there. Don't have to. Could have called it c still, but I called it x. So here's x squared equals a squared, that's 25 squared, plus b squared, that's 37 squared, minus 2 times 25 times 37, cosine of 50. Okay, let's do some calculations. 25 squared, what's 25 squared? 625, what's 37 squared? 37 squared, 1,369, minus two times that, a lot to do there. You can type it however you want. I usually do cos 50 first, just to make sure I don't mess that up. Cos 50 equals that, times 37 doesn't matter what order you do timesing. Just times them all together, and I get that nice decimal there. Okay, I gotta write that down. 1,189.157078. And even though it might not be obvious, this number here, even though I took all the decimals, the calculator would have definitely had to round, which means I need a rounding dot here. On my next line, though, I won't, because I'm going to do this plus this, take away this, which is going to give me an exact value. I already rounded on this line, but from here to here, I won't round. I'm going to do exactly what it says. The calculator won't have to cut off any digits, because it's already done that the line before. I'm just going to enter it. 1189, oh, typo. 1189.157078. And I get... 804, write that down, 804.842922. So, from here to here I rounded, the calculator rounded, but from here to here it got an exact value, no rounding dot. But my last line, I gotta undo this square. I'm trying to solve for x, except right until now I had x squared. I gotta do the opposite of what's happening to x. x is being squared, what's the opposite of square? Square rooting. Make sure your square root covers the whole thing you're square rooting, including this last digit. It's got to cover the whole thing for good communication. Okay, square root of 804.842922, and you get, I'm going to round to three decimals because we're doing a side. Usually round sides to three decimals. So it's approximately 28.36, oh, this is interesting, 369, I want three decimals, but this 7 means round up, so I got around 0.369 up, which rounds to 0 0.370. Need that 0 there to show 3 decimals. And I've done it. I used cosine law to determine a side. I put my formula, I subbed in, 
I calculated each separate part, the squares, and then times all these together. Then I calculated 625 plus 1369 minus 1189.157078 and got this big number. And then to get rid of the square, I square rooted. And I solved for x.